Hi, good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mr. Powers. I'm one of the guidance counselors. I look after surnames S through Z. And today we'll be talking about the Specialist High School's major programs offered here at Fletcher's Meadows Secondary School. So the first question you might have is what exactly is a Specialist High School's major? So an SHSM program is a ministry approved career focused program that allows students to focus their learning on a specific economic sector while working towards their high school graduation. And we wanted to talk to the uh, grade 10 students uh, while you're making your course selections for next year. So SHSM is one of the student success learning to 18 strategies designed to help students succeed. So you'll see from the list there that there's a number of uh, programs that are in place, um, but today we'll be dealing with the Specialist High School's major program. So the SHSM program uh, sectors that are offered in Peel, um, we've got a whole list there. Uh, at Fletcher's Meadow, we offer the construction as well as the health and wellness. And so again, the SHSM programs start uh, in grade 11 and grade 12. So some of the components of the SHSM program, um, there is a number of bundled credits that you'll need to take. Um, depending on the program that you're going to select, as you'll see in the next slide, is uh, you'll be completing either nine credits or 10 credits. In addition uh, to completing the bundle of credits, there'll be a number of certifications and training programs that you'll also complete. Um, there's obviously an experiential learning and career exploration component. Um, definitely some reach ahead experiences. And then we'll be developing some of the essential skills and work habits um, using the Ontario Skills Passport. So now let's take a look at the program requirements for those students interested in joining the SHSM Health and Wellness Program. So there's a bundle of nine grade 11 and 12 credits that you'll need to complete. Um, there are four major credits that provide uh, specific knowledge and skills. You'll have to complete another three labeled other required credits. Those are uh, will include English, math, and electives and then a two-credit cooperative program uh, that will be tied back to the health and wellness sector. Now, if we take a look at the SHSM design build uh, program for construction, there's uh, a bundle of 10 grade 11 and 12 credits that you'll need to complete. So in this program, there are four major credits that you'll complete, uh, four other required credits, and then you'll again, you'll have to complete the two-credit uh, co-op program. So let's t talk a little bit about what does the two credit co-op program look like. So ideally you're going to complete uh, co-op during your grade 11 year. And so that course code that you should be selecting is COP2XC. And the way that co-op works for two credit is you would come to school in the morning. Um, and so your placements are afternoon work placements. So after your period one and two classes, you would then travel to your work placement where you would be expected to complete roughly three to four hours per day, Monday through Friday. Now, majority of the co-op hours um, that have been completed by students in the past tend to fall between the hours of 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, if you are looking at uh, working outside of those hours, we just need to adjust your work education agreement. Um, there are a variety of work placements that have, are available to students. Um, definitely, we have had a lot of uh, connections and partnerships over the years. So there's a lot of um, placements that we already have available for students. We've had students work in a veterinary clinics, pharmacies, as a beautician, welder, construction worker, and plumber, just to name a few. However, we're also encouraging students to uh, look for their own placements. So if you have um, a family member or a friend or other contact that would be willing to host you as a co-op placement, uh, then by all means, you're welcome to set that up. All you would need to do is just take down their information and relay that to your co-op teacher and your co-op teacher will follow up with uh, that employer um, and uh, check out the work placement. Now, in addition to being part of uh, completing co-op, there are dual credits that are also available. Um, this will allow you to complete um, certain programs at community colleges where you can earn exactly what it says there. You'll be earning a credit at the college level and you'll also be earning an equivalent high school credit. Now the dual credit program uh, is completely free of charge for students um, and also transportation will be covered. 
Uh, so you'll be given um, bus tokens or bus tickets so that you can travel from uh, from home or from school to go to uh, the community college to complete that dual credit program. So to find out a complete list of uh, dual credit programs that are offered, uh, you'll need to speak with your co-op teachers. Now there's some further considerations for you to consider. Um, the first thing when you're looking at doing your co-op placement is have an idea of what type of placement are you looking for. So begin looking for your own placement. So again, talking to your parents, um, talking to your friends, um, any other relatives, find out what is available to you. Now, uh, something to keep in mind is the proximity of your work placement to both home and school. So you will need to travel from the school after your period two class to get to your work placement in time. So typically we uh, recommend that the commute time uh, does not exceed roughly 30 minutes of travel time. Um, however, we do understand that it might be a little bit longer if you're having to catch a bus and then there's a connection in between. But keep that in mind when you're actually um, planning uh, what type of placement you want. The next uh, important thing to let you know is that the transportation to and from your work placements is your own responsibility. So students are responsible for finding their own way there. We, don't, we do not provide bus tickets, so you will need to find your own transportation. So whether that is walking, um, getting a ride from a parent, driving yourself, catching the bus. So those are uh, things to consider. Um, and like I said, dual credit. Uh, definitely you want to speak with your co-op teacher to find out uh, if there's any programs that are offered at the community colleges that you might want to explore. Um, then there's also the OYAP opportunities, which is the Ontario Youth Apprenticeship Program. Um, these are open to skilled trade placements where anyone that is doing um, a co-op placement in one of these skilled trades, you'll automatically become what's called an OYAP participant. If you decide that you would uh, intend to uh, receive training for an apprenticeship, um, and you'd like to go to college afterwards, you can definitely then be, register yourself as a full-time OYAP student. You would just need to have a workplace that would be uh, eligible to sponsor you while you're doing your co-op placement there. Now, one other thing to consider, if you are in the construction for SH, uh, the construction HSM, you want to make sure that uh, you're finding a placement that will uh, accommodate your 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 work schedule. So if you're going to school in the afternoon, or sorry, in the morning, and you're, you're planning on making your way to the, uh, the work site, a lot of these skilled trades people start early on in the morning. So it might not be feasible uh, to do the two credit co-op. You might want to take a look at the four credit co-op, which is the COP 4XC in lieu of two credit, uh, if you intend to go into the construction SHSM. And this just makes more sense because a lot of the skilled trades workers, as I mentioned, will start work sooner in the morning, like at six or seven, um, and their workday sometimes is concluded by three or four o'clock. So if you do the four credit co-op, uh, instead of coming to school, you would uh, report directly to work. Now there are uh, in-school sessions for both co-op, um, that take place roughly every three weeks. You'll be coming back to the school for an in-class uh, uh, integration class that you'll have to attend. Um, also, one final note, if you decide to take the four-credit co-op, what that does is that completes your two-credit co-op uh, component, but it also replaces one of the major as well as one of your other required elective courses that you need to take. Um, another consideration is, do you need to require or do you require any accommodations while at your work placement? So think about this. If you'll be standing for long periods of time, do you need uh, to have more frequent uh, breaks? Um, and so if there's anything else that you need your employer to know, that, um, it's, it's good to probably have that conversation at the very beginning. And one last note about extracurricular participation. Since you will be doing your co-op placement, um, it may not be possible for you to participate in any after-school activities um, that semester simply just because you won't be uh, able to get back to the school in time because you're, you're working at your work placement. So that's definitely something to consider. Now, obviously, some of the benefits for students for joining the SHSM program are that you're going to be gaining some sector-specific skills and knowledge. You really get a chance to try out uh, a particular career to see if that's something that you're really interested in. So a co-op really 
uh, provides that learning environment, which is career related. Um, it's also engaging. So you're not simply just uh, learning in a classroom anymore. Now you're actually taking what you're learning and you're actually using it. Um, SHSM programs also help prepare students for graduation and post-secondary education, training, or employment. Students who complete all the required components will earn the SHSM seal on their diploma and receive a report summarizing their achievements. So the application is quite simple. Um, on the Guidance Google Class site and the school website, there's an SHSM uh, package for you to fill out where you'll uh, complete a Google form to show us your intent to enroll in the program. Then what is also required, you will need to get two teacher references. So these are individuals or teachers that can actually vouch for your, uh, your work ethic um, and your responsibility. Um, you'll also need to have a parent permission letter to participate in the SHSM program. And then finally, the next thing would be your course selection, which is what we're talking about today. Um, definitely, you can visit the Guidance Google Class site and take a look at the post that uh, lists all of the approved credits that you will need to take in both of those programs. So the health and wellness, as well as the construction, so that you can uh, choose your courses uh, correctly. So now I'm just going to share with you briefly um, two student testimonials. Um, so these are students that were part of the programs and uh, they'll share their thoughts and insights with you. Hi everyone, my name is Desiree Pearson. I'm a grade 12 student at Fletcher's Meadow. Schism, Health and Wellness, First Aid and HOSA are all great opportunities to expand on skills used within the healthcare sector. These specialized programs at our school help to equip the students here with the knowledge about health and wellness. Schism allows students to receive a red seal on their diploma. It also allows them to receive several certificates like first aid, stop the bleed, CPR, teamwork, communication, all certificates that will help benefit them in their future. First aid is the only first aid club in all of the Peel region, and it's a great opportunity to get involved in the school community and put your knowledge into practice. And then next we have HOSA. HOSA is an amazing way to look further into career opportunities and skills used within the healthcare sector. So students interested in healthcare can benefit from learning and making new friends in any of these programs. Hi, my name is Nikki Sant and I'm a grade 11 student at Fletcher's Meadow. One of the two SHSM programs offered at our school is the Design Build SHSM. In the specialized program, students gain knowledge regarding the role design plays in construction and gain hands-on experience by designing a product and bringing it to life. Students earn seven industry-recognized certifications, including first aid, CPR, and working at heights. Students become familiar with computer programs such as AutoCAD, SketchUp, and they get the opportunity to work with the 3D printers to bring their designs to life. The program is perfect for creative students who enjoy hands-on learning, regardless of the post-secondary path they'd like to take. So, if you are looking to find out some more information about the SHSM program, the best individual to uh, connect with is Ms. Janice Lewis. So she's often down in guidance, um, and her email is provided there, janice.lewis at plsb.com. Also, you can visit the Guidance Google class site for grade 10. From there, you'll be able to see all the SHSM required courses for both the health and wellness and design build construction. Um, and again, please feel, to feel free to contact Ms. Lewis if you have any further SHSM related questions, or you can always book uh, an appointment with your guidance counselor and they'd be happy to um, review uh, your pathway destinations with you. All right, thank you very much.